You're right, Raul, no doubt about that. And again, the Broncos fans are showing up here in big numbers. As you can see behind me, more than 300 fans have come out here in Greeley for the Broncos' first stop on their Salute to Fans Tour. The fans are getting their pictures taken, also getting some autographs with the Broncos, Ben Garland and Virgil Green. That's going on right now. And fans lined up here early, about four hours before this event started at 5 o'clock tonight. Now, today's trip for the players also included private hospital and school visits here in Greeley. This is a way for the Broncos to thank their fans for all their support. We're happy to be back. I mean, just to see the way their faces light up and just to see this line that's stretching outside the door. And the Broncos do still have three more stops on the tour in Alamosa, Grand Junction, and Castle Rock in the coming weeks. Reporting live in Greeley, Michelle Tuckner, Fox 31 Denver. They're ready for tonight. Well, both the Buffs and the Rams have been out here warming up. Luckily, the rain has stopped for now. They took the tarp off the field about an hour ago. But you're right, the excitement is building tonight for the Rocky Mountain Showdown. And Colorado State head coach Jim McElwain has the Rams on the rise after turning things around last year. CSU is coming off a bowl win and, of course, returning starting quarterback Garrett Grayson. He set the Rams' single-season passing record last season. McElwain is always the master motivator, and he's embracing the underdog role in the Rocky Mountain Showdown. And for them, you know, it's a must-win game. Our little guy. Little Some guy. motivating words from uh, Coach McElwain there. Also, uh, former CSU Ram Broncos running back Capri Vibb said that he is going to be here at the game on the sidelines cheering on his Rams tonight. Today is United in Orange. How exciting is it for you to just walk around the city and, and see everyone showing their Broncos spirit today? It's always a great time of the year when the Broncos are in the playoffs. And you also have a special wager going on with the San Diego mayor. Can you tell us a little bit more about that? Yes, Mayor Gloria and I got on the phone this week. So you're, you're already looking forward to that meal from San Diego. Uh, absolutely. Huh? Thank you, Peyton Manning and the Denver Broncos. <laughs> and how will you be spending the game on Sunday? Well, I'm going to be here at the stadium. We're going to be rocking it with the fans. Great. Thanks a lot, Mayor. Appreciate your absolutely. time. Absolutely. Thank you very much. Yes, and enjoy the weekend. And guys, uh, fans, if there's anyone out there that does not have tickets yet for the game, you are in luck. 300 tickets have just become available. Turns out the San Diego Chargers were not using them. They returned them to the ticket office, and already there is a line forming here outside. Uh, fans are showing up, so not not sure how long they're going to last. It might not last very long. Reporting live at Sports Authority Field at Mile High, Michelle Tuckner, Channel 2 News, Daybreak. Well, Jeremy, Jim McElwain is the Gators' top coaching candidate, and the negotiations are continuing. But the sticking point is McElwain's $7.5 million buyout. Florida doesn't want to pay that much money, so Florida's athletic director left today without a new head coach. Florida Athletic Director Jeremy Foley returned to Gainesville without Jim McElwain today. The private jet leaving the Fort Collins Loveland Airport just before 1 o'clock. After two days of talking with McElwain, they could not reach a deal. Florida is trying to reduce McElwain's $7.5 million buyout. Foley came to Fort Collins yesterday and met with McElwain and his wife Karen at their home last night. The CSU Rams players are not practicing this week. A few leaving the McGraw Athletic Center today. They're waiting to hear from McIlwain if he will be leaving and joining the Gators. And when Foley landed in Gainesville tonight, he told reporters there we had a great conversation. We're not there yet. Also, Rams quarterback Garrett Grayson took to Twitter today to dispute a report that said that McIlwain had already told had told the team that he was leaving. So the players are waiting to find out just like the rest of us. Live in Fort Collins, Michelle Tuckner, Fox 31 Denver. Well, we'll start with the good news. Peyton Manning practiced for the second straight day after missing practice on Wednesday. So he's good, all set to play on Sunday. Now, as you mentioned, as for Champ Bailey, he missed practice all week. And today we found out that he will not play against the Redskins. Bailey re-injured his foot last Sunday against the Colts, and it's the same injury he's been battling all season. I feel better than... A week ago, but I'm, I'm definitely not able to do the things I want to do to to make sure I'm productive on the field. And until I feel that way, I, I won't go out there. Broncos cornerback Champ Bailey will miss his sixth game of the season on Sunday. His patience has been tested dealing with this injury. Very, very frustrating because you know we talk about my feet, and you know I want to be able to play, but I also want to be able to walk. You know, in the future, so just got to make sure I take care of him and not make it any worse than what it is. He says the injury isn't as severe as the first time he hurt it in the preseason. Bailey plans to rehab during the bye week and return for their next game against San Diego. I, I just got to 
deal with it, rehab, and make sure I get my body right. The Broncos' depth on defense will be tested. They have yet to play all 11 starters on defense in a game this season. I had to play with them pretty much the whole season. And uh, I mean, that's something that younger guys got to grow up faster. In. Troy Aikman will be calling the game on Fox 31 Denver. He thinks the Broncos will be able to bounce back after their first loss of the season. Losing to Indianapolis, it's not the worst thing that could happen. You know, I mean, they've beaten a lot of good teams. And uh, Peyton got banged around a little bit. A lot of guys nicked up. but. I still think this Denver team is an outstanding team. They're going to bounce back, I believe, and play the way that we've seen them play throughout this season. And, and I talked to Aikman for a while today. He says he still thinks that the Broncos are the favorite to go to the Super Bowl. You'll hear much more from Aikman coming up a little bit later on in sports. Reporting live at Dove Valley, Michelle Tuckner, Fox 31 Denver. He's one of the